And as the Dahlia hit Florida today, the hurricane brought on some coastal storm surge as high as 16 feet in some places. Yeah, First Alert meteorologist Ben Beddoes explains what storm surge is and the dangers it brings. Hurricane Adalia making landfall in Florida this morning. Part of what Adalia is bringing is deadly storm surge. So how does storm surge work exactly? Storm surge is a rise in sea level due to water being pushed farther inland. Hurricanes, like any low pressure, have winds that flow counterclockwise. Typically, the right side of the hurricane brings the worst storm surge. So areas on the coast that are just east of the center usually experience the worst storm surge. The category of a hurricane only accounts for wind speed, not storm surge. The size, forward speed, angle of approach, and the layout all contribute to seeing higher storm surge. The winds of the hurricane push water towards the land, and it has to go somewhere. At least three feet of storm surge is considered life threatening. Storm surge is the leading cause of death with hurricanes. Hurricane Katrina is one of the deadliest hurricanes we have seen in recent memory. This is because of storm surge levels up to 28 feet. For comparison, Idalia was forecast to see up to 16 feet of storm surge, just a little more than what Ian brought last year. And we know how that ended. The category of a hurricane isn't everything. I'm meteorologist Ben Beddoes, WKYT.